Arctic Fury. Yes, he's actually very good at it too. He's See, incredible. Like, check him out. Check him out. Uh, young talent, uh, for sure. Still in high school, doing his thing. But he's on the grind. He's always making new like profile like Twitter banners for everybody. Returning to his UW roots, we have Locke. Uh, Teaming up with Copper. Yep. The incredible Mega Man, capable of some pretty nasty combos, jab locks. He's got games on some really impressive players, too. Mm -hmm. uh, is he teaming with Copper there? He is teaming with Copper. Who does Copper play? Tell me. I forget. <laughs> well, then you can't tell me. Anyway. I don't know. Last time I played Copper, he went random on me. So, <laughs> Fire the Pyro. Tends to play Mario, first and foremost. Yes, he very much does. Uh, has a villager in the pocket. Siege. Uh, primarily plays Sheik. Uh, has a lot of technical skill. Still very new to tournaments, I would say. Yeah, it, these guys have been practicing on Wi-Fi together a lot, so I'm actually quite interested to see how this actually turns out. I want to see what kind of team combos they can pull off, especially with... Uh, I, I, I'm very salty whenever FTP and I play because he always gets me with, like, some ridiculous dunk out of nowhere. Yep. Well, so the interesting thing is, this is actually their first time, Siege and FTP, that is, teaming outside of, like, a Wi-Fi thing. This is their first time... In person. In person, doing a team. Uh, so we'll see if that, like, comes together. I know Sheik and Mario are a great doubles yeah. team. Uh, no, she she can just sort of carry people from one side of the stage to the other with her combos, and then Mario just an excellent, yeah, you know, an excellent team player. Like all of his moves put you in a place where hey, she could pick that up and keep it going for a little while. Yeah, and the thing is, like, she has the same. <laughs> she can do a forward air or back air, and Mario's like, oh, this is for me. What? What is? They. Oh, I hate. There we go. Yeah, I'm. Oh, I that's FTP. For a second, I thought he was gonna write, I hate babies. That's uh, that's one way. Old, old red versus blue reference. Yeah. So I Hate Bayo uh, is an interesting tag for FTP. Very relevant. If you've ever <laughs> encountered him on Twitter, <laughs> whenever there are a large number of Bayonettas in the top eight for a competition. He's always really upset. He's, he's always in there. He's always like, ah, resident sleeper. Those, those, those top players. Darn. Those Bayonettas, they're doing their Bayonetta things. I cannot abide by this. He's, al he's always on Discord and Twitter about that. Anytime that, like, especially when he loses to a bail. Oof. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a veritable salt mine. <laughs> <laughs> Putting it mildly. Uh, but Lock, Lock and Copper, they're seasoned players. They really are. Uh, so if I, I'm not usually one to make predictions, but. Oh, oh, oh. I see a Ganondorf. Lock, see, Lock's see, team is probably going to do some serious damage Are we going to see double Ganon? Double, oh. nah. See, la last year we actually saw, it was actually quite funny. We had, um, I forget who FTP was teaming with, but at Port Priority 2, he had a team of double Ganon, and they nearly took out a team of double Cloud, and it was hilarious. I find it incredibly funny that FTP's tag is I hate Bayo. <laughs> is he just going Bayo for this? Yup. Uh, uh, just looks right. over at his teammate like, what are you doing? All right, so the stage bans have begun. We have Lilat off the board immediately, of course. FTP is not Especially with Bayo on in play. They would never want that. Nope. The guns? Why would you? You really wouldn't. She just platform camp you the whole time. Smashville, also a no. Interesting. All right, so it looks like it's Copper and Locke's pick still. Oh, no. Yep, FTP. they're going to be choosing between Town and FD. Uh, they're probably going to go to FD if it's Locke's pick. Uh, yeah. Because, oh, oh no. Interesting. We have been proven wrong. We have been bodied All by right. our own expectations. The fist bumps have been exchanged, and we're going into game one. We the should probably sh given. shy away from speculation. <laughs> Speculation's the over. It's time to play. So, Siege. Fire the pyro, lock, copper. We're on town and city. Let's get it. Let's get it. Starting off. Randy F smash from uh, from lock there. Right now, what lock's looking to do is uh, keep them separated. Uh, 
But Siege has really good escape options as Bayo. And so it's going to be difficult to like maintain any kind of like continued influence in a particular direction uh, on Locke's part. Yeah, I'm, I, from what I'm seeing from uh, FTP, I think what he's just going to try to do is try to keep uh, keep Bayo, you know, safe enough so, she, so that she can do Bayo things. Yep, that back throw with Mario is very important uh, because in addition to removing one of the people from the premises, it also discourages any kind of like breaking up uh, of any like further shenanigans. Basically, like let's say FTP grabs lock. Uh, <laughs> Copper isn't gonna be able to come in in the middle of the back throw uh, and grab him uh, directly laterally. There's a witch time though from C. There is a witch time and that is gonna be a stock. Lock with that heavy Mega Man staying in the game though. Oh, that's been the second uh, of the Mega Man Shoryukens that hasn't connected. Uh, they have an early lead, Siege and FTP. They do indeed. I FTPs do. Ooh! <laughs> I wonder if part of it is just the viability of Ganon in doubles. Um, Ganon is, you know, he's surprisingly viable, I would say, in doubles. He's not great. Yeah, but just the fact that he hits like a truck, and if if Locke can just cause enough problems or like cause enough interruption with lemons yeah. to let Ganondorf do his thing oh. and get something started, oh, that was unfortunate. Unfortunate SD from Siege. <laughs> but no, I'm actually uh, we, we we've seen like witch twist after witch twist after witch twist from Siege, and that's basically pretty much what we're gonna see. Yeah, Locke might kill FTP with a grab here at some point. Oh, what? Wow, incredible. That <laughs> just the wizard foot. There goes Locke. Oh, that that was that was some friendly fire. That is super. We're hearing chance for siege now. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Now. We see that uh <laughs> Siege's primary goal right now is to get that Ganondorf off stage. I've noticed uh, quite often uh, FTP will sort of like get, he'll create sort of a pincer between uh Whoa, between the did you see that save, yes. that save from Locke? The, uh, the Mega Man up B uh, basically was the only thing that kept Copper alive there. That was crucial. One thing I've noticed is that uh, FTP tries to get like uh, Red Team in between him and Siege. Mm -hmm. I'm wondering so, what the strategy is there. It's so interesting. Like, so Ganondorf's Flame Choke uh, is a much more committal option in doubles because you can't just try and go for some kind of tech chase off of it. You have to watch where the other person is going. Not only that, but just the fact that uh, it, it takes much longer than you'd expect to actually complete. If you get the Flame Choke, the animation's so long, you can get interrupted so easily. Oh, Ooh, shield break. Goodbye, FTP. Wow. That was nasty. All right, stocks are even up. Ganondorf sitting at 177%. Copper may not live very long. That shield break was essential. And now, yeah, look, Ganondorf's got an extra stock. Copper's yep, doing well. Throw. Mm. He's going to do it. Yeah, Siege brought it back there pretty, pretty like, quickly. quickly. Yeah, he's, he's sealed it up. Oh. Back throw prevents any kind of sort of F smash uh, interference there from Locke. All right, so while Mega Man was busy with Mario, Siege managed to get a nice 50% on Ganon. With that, one stock left for Copper and Locke. Yeah, Siege got a really important edge guard there with the Bayonetta Nair. Mm -hmm. They might be able to seal it at this point. I mean, it's Ganondorf. Ooh. Oh, coming down with that wizard foot. Tricky jump. If Ganondorf pulls off this, it, it, it will Copper, be absolutely astounding. If Copper pulls off this 2v1, it would be kind of incredible. It would be legendary. There's the witch time. Doesn't look like that's going to happen. FTP and Siege take game one. Look at him. He's just so sassy. Wow. I was not expecting this at all. Everything Bayo does is a taunt. I love the way he ended that. I was not expecting FTP and Siege to take game one there. To be honest, it it was kind of a toss up for a little while, but after uh, Siege managed to get all that damage on Ganondorf for free, and yeah. then got that edge guard on uh, Locke, yeah, that that was the that was the game. I can't hear it at all. There's no game audio. There. 
So I wonder how Locke and Copper are going to change their strategy going in here. Oh, yep. Battlefield is rife with some opportunities for Mega Man to extend his combos. I'd uh, be very worried about that. Oh, see, yep. I was about to say which time. A lot of quick interruptions here at the moment from Locke. Oh, Copper's getting comboed. Copper's got a lot on him, but... It's all right. He's 51% and he's Ganondorf. It's not that big of a deal. Yeah. For Ganondorf, until he hits like 130, everything else is just extra Ooh. range he gets. He caught that shield. He caught that shield from FTP uh, really well. Honestly, that seems to be sort of the name of Copper's game right now, is reading when people are going to shield and just getting little bits and pieces off of that, whether it's a flame choke or it's a grab. Uh, it sets Lock up to do other things. Ooh, oh, no. that fair. Is he going to come back? Yes. Oh, but nice Siege got back. another stock. He got both of them with that. Siege is really doing well here in the Bayonetta roll. Oh, oh there's that second witch time. There's Coming another in. witch time. I like that. Lock was in there. He was like, ah, just get him out of that. Yeah. Locke is sort of historically had a bit of a difficult time against Bayonetta. Oh, Ooh, there's... that was nice. Wow. Good job, Copper. Um, at one of the recent Orbitars, uh, Locke had a set loss to Milky, who is a Washington-ranked Bayonetta. So it's not unprecedented for Bayonetta to give Locke a little bit of trouble. That was a sick handoff. Yeah, what happened to Locke's second stop? I... Wow. Yeah, I don't know. Siege is really putting in work right now. He really is. Uh, he's kind of the stock finisher at the moment. Um, and it looks like FVP is taking on a pretty solid role. There's the show you can. FTP just trying to waste a little bit of time so his teammate can respawn. Now that they're both back up, he's going back in. That shield's looking like a skittle on, uh, on Ganondorf. Look at these handoffs between Siege and FTP, though. They're nice and clean, I gotta say. Oh, there's, there's another the one. Ledge. Oh, that's another stock. All of these witch times, man. This is a claustrophobic stage. He's gonna get quite a number of those. Oh, that was a high commitment on that F smash, but I think Copper is really desperate right now. He, he needs a win. Now. Oh. Mega Man sitting at 107, I mean, he could even this up quickly if he can land one just really strong attack. He can take the lead with one really strong attack. This would be a huge win for Siege and FTP, honestly. Wow. Okay. All right. Both of them on the field, everyone on center stage. Yep. FTP is, and uh, Siege are sort of sandwiching them in. They don't necessarily need to control center stage. Both they, of them do they well enough to, from the ledge. They just need to keep throwing out these like low knockback attacks in neutral. And just keep them locked down. Okay, but Ganondorf's off stage. What's he gonna do? Doesn't get anything. Mega Man's sitting at almost full rage at this point at 132. So is FTP though. <laughs> no kidding. No I'm amazed he's get still alive. Anything. He's gonna survive that back throw. He might not survive another one. See. The difficulty comes with Mega Man and Ganondorf's kill options. Oh, friendly fire. The worst possible option. Ganondorf's looking pretty high. That Bayo not able to take him out just yet. There's another Shoryuken. Now, Docks are even. it's more likely that Copper's going to get killed than Locke at this point, which means that uh, I think Locke's probably more likely to win the 2v1 than Copper, uh, just because Mega Man has enough zoning stuff. Uh, to keep uh, both of the actors in the 2v1 satisfied or occupied. Yeah, Ganondorf's got muscle, but there's no way he can last in a 2v1. But FTP is getting a lot of consistent damage here. Uh, and it's not looking good because everyone's kind of at kill percent. Basically, the next person to land like a real kill move is going to is gonna set up for the 2v1 here. And because there's a Ganondorf in play here, that could be pretty much anyone. anyone. Yep. There goes I mean, FTP. That is it. It's up to Siege. Can Siege do it? He could. Ganondorf's at 150. It won't. T it, all it takes is one witch time for either of these players, really. Yeah. The only thing is, can he do that, get the kill, and stay alive? Locke was really threatening the grab there. Oh, a single witch time? Yeah. A Nair? Let's go Siege. 
Siege. This is, yeah, this is This tense. is so tense. This is so tense. It, oh, Ooh. it got bats. Unfortunately, does oh. not get the team combo. The upper would have done it. Oh. Oh, that move. We tried. We hear a crowd. We hear a get the foot. Ooh. Oh, the tornado. With that, Copper and Lock on the board, one to one. It's even. Oh, this is a. This it, is good. This is a terrifyingly tense set. It really is. Hold on a sec. So going into game three, what are we getting? Oh, we've got we've got a crowd of people. They want it. They want this exciting game three. We're already here. <laughs> no, we don't. We do not Shut want Smashville. Up. Bayonetta benefits too much from Smashville. Mario benefits too much from Smashville yeah. for oh. for Team Lock and Copper to get anything. It looks like are, we're having are, some trouble with the stage striking app. Are we at six stages or are we at five? It says six. All right. I'm not quite sure why. Right. I would hazard a guess that they're probably not going to go to Lilat again. Probably not. Uh, because, you know, Lilat, Bayo, let's not do that. It's just, it's a long list of compounding factors that would <laughs> take that out. If they go to Lilat, though, I mean, we're going to be proven wrong on our stage choice again. And That is true. Nope, they've decided they're going to Battlefield. Nice. Try Platts again. To Battlefield. Ganondorf's up top. Locks on the side. Good position for Siege to start in there. Definitely. Just get that Witch Twist going. Get doesn't, that solid damage. Doesn't catch Ganondorf on that Witch Twist, though. Good hand off from FTP to Siege. Something I like that Copper's doing is he's using the frame data from Up Smash to uh, bait an approach. Uh, you'll see he'll do an Up Smash, and it'll either hit like that. Oh my god, that's two. <laughs> or uh, he'll do an attack immediately after. Oh my god, Ooh, what a that read. that forward smash! What a read. Yikes! All Abs right, with that, Copper and Locke take the stock lead. Wow. They're ready. They've <laughs> they're like, okay, we figured this out. Download complete. Like, how do you respond to that? Uh, I I don't know, man. How do you follow that up? I'm actually quite surprised. We're seeing uh, Copper just going for some. He's gone for two like raw F smashes right now against Mario. Ooh, see, Ooh. capitalize on it again. This Ganondorf. Copper has this figured out. Wow, I can't believe Bayonetta came back from that. I, I mean, I guess I can, but, like, that was such a powerful spike. I've, I've, I've noticed, wow. I'm noticing Copper. just Locke is trying to, like, close things out as quickly as possible. He's going for these fully charged F smashes. He's going for hard knuckle. Copper has been... Copper's been getting some reads, <laughs> to say the <laughs> least. It's kind of terrifying. All right, so Team Copper and Locke finally down one stock. This Ganondorf is such sitting a big lead. at 142. Such a big lead. When Ganondorf stock tanks, it's one of the scariest things. Because on the one hand, he's just eminently edge guardable. Well, yep, nice pickup oh. from FTP. <laughs> Lock getting some good edge guards in. Not going to be able to seal out the stock, though. Ooh, weak sure you can. Oof. They're, this is not looking good for FTP and Siege. Not Right now, they're only down one stock, but oh, scratch that. Almost all the kills here have been these big finishers from Copper and Lock, whether they're F smashes, up smashes, or Mega Man up tilt. So Copper's been returning that uh, with uh, a little bit of fight in him. He's been wanting to do that Nair as he approaches. And he's been really good at snuffing out a lot of FTP's attempts at edge guards. Yeah, not only that, he's been doing a really good job just interrupting people like on center stage with that. You just saw him use it. Yeah, absolutely. Like, oh, flame choke just out of range. Oh, there's that forward smash from Bayo, but unfortunately, it's that was his own teammate. I thought that was going to be like a. 
turnaround. It was going to be the moment. But Can Siege pull off a comeback from a four-stock deficit? <coughs> oh, that SD is certainly Brock. going to help. He's sitting at the sacred percentage no longer. Yeah, no. Uh, you can see Locke is getting really, really aggressive with his edge guard. Just run off. Locke has been aggressive this entire game. He's pulled off more like fully charged F smashes, and he's gone for like dunks with hard knuckle. He just wants to get something that kills. He doesn't seem to care when. That Pratt fall didn't end up working, but oh no, oh, oh. no. You know what? Save my save my partner from getting punished for that. Why not? Oh, I'm wondering about the efficacy of using grab because I'm noticing Siege is going for grab a fair amount. Oh, he will get absolutely killed if he does that. Oh, yep. There's nice, sure, you can end with that. Copper and lock, 2-1. That was close. But game three, game three was the real decider. Game three with all of those just big, meaty attacks and kills with him. Copper.